Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So yesterday I did a video sharing some shops and things that I had gotten in the mail and I was so excited to share this paper with you that I forgot to say the name of the shop and even though I put it in the description box and I linked it below, since I was coming back on today because there was also a box behind me that I forgot, um, I just wanted to just show the packaging and just say that it's triple B vintage on Etsy and I will link her shop again below. I don't know if she watches my channel, but if you do, I think her name's Veronica. I'm so sorry I forgot to mention the shop name. Love, love, love the paper. Okay. The other thing that I forgot, and most of you probably know her, but just in case you don't, I wanted to make sure to share what I got. Um, it's from Amour Fabriques, and Selena is the shop owner. Lovely lady. She is so nice. She always will, you know, try to accommodate what you're looking for when she goes looking for things. If she knows there's a certain something you like and she sends thank you gifts, she'll try to send something like she knows I like purple and I like peacocks and, um, oh, I don't know what else, but anyway, she'll try to, um, send me things that are to my liking. So that's really cool. So just in case you guys don't know Selena, I want to make sure to share what I got and link her uh, YouTube channel and her Etsy store uh, in the description box. So the last time that she went out, uh, she goes out to different places doing what she calls junk in my trunk and she will get different items that later she will put in the shop. And as soon as I saw these bunnies, I had commented on Facebook. I don't know if she saw it or not, but I did manage to get um, three of them. And I, you know, at first I only got two because I just, I wanted to make sure I didn't take too many. I think she had, um, I don't know if she had eight or 13, but anyway, she had a few of them. So I thought, well, I'll just take a couple. And then I went back a day or two later and there was still a bunch of them there. So I got one more. And these are, I think she called them tea towels. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet because I think these are whole pieces. But here's the bunny on this one. Isn't that cute? I do have a bunch of um, different bunny journals I'm going to be making. So I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of like just, you know, the fabric of the towel here. They're quite large, actually. I don't know how big they are, but I mean, and the bunny is just like on this part of it so I don't know if I'll you know like make a cover out of it or cut the bunny out and use it you know I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet because this would be good fabric to tear and use in all kinds of ways and stamp on and all that kind of stuff so I don't know yet I haven't decided because I just got them you know I'm still thinking about what I'm going to do and I'm not at the point of making bunny journals yet so we'll see but also with it comes some um, embroidered pieces and of course these I will use for journals in some kind of way whether it's a cover or embellishment or whatever and they're all so pretty Sorry, my desk is such a mess, you guys, but if I waited to do a video until I had everything set up perfectly the way I want it, I would never do a video, so I just kind of make do. It's so weird to have Liz gone. Now, this is cute. This is a full piece. Anyway, Liz is at school today, which is a good thing. Every day that she's able to go to school is a glorious thing. And I celebrate because she's had such a hard time. Really, ever since the whole COVID thing, she has had a really much harder time with everything. But anyway, um, she is there today. So I thought, well, I'll um, 
go ahead and do this video and show you guys the stuff. So that was the first pack that I got. And this is the second one. So here's the here's the bunny on this one. Isn't that cute? I just love these. It's another cold, rainy day here in Michigan, which is typical for this time of year. Honestly, I kind of welcome the cooler temps. I actually put my furnace on this morning. It was 40-something. It's only supposed to be a high of 50 today. Some diehard Michiganders would not put a furnace on yet, but <laughs> I'm not about seeing how cold I can stand it. Plus, I'm not the only one that lives here, so. <laughs> I think this is like the other one. Okay, and this is a handkerchief. Boy, I'm awful fumbly today, aren't I? Maybe that's not a handkerchief. I don't know. It's got kind of a different shape to it. Anyway, it doesn't really matter what they are. And then this is like the other one I showed you. I love those flowers too. Those would be pretty in a, a garden journal or spring journal. Oops, still got a sore around my cards yet. Okay, and I got one more of those. I hope this isn't too boring for you just watching me show similar things, but um, I know some people like to see stuff and some people don't, so I guess you just do your thing and people want to watch, they'll watch, right? And that cute in the cup or the dish or whatever it is. It's so cute. I don't know what it is about bunnies. Liz and I are actually thinking about getting a rabbit. Um where we live the way it's set up is I could either have like during the warm months I could have a bunny hutch outside either in my backyard or my garage and you know you can bring them in you, just, you know, have to clean up after them just like you would any other pet but I also could have a bunny hutch down in the basement too you know and bring the bunny upstairs to let it out and stuff so I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do yet we're we're thinking about it um I've really been wanting a pet for her. Um, I know that it helps with anxiety to have pets. I've thought about getting her a, a service animal, like a dog, but um, I don't know. We're, we're still just in the thinking phase of things. It's been a long time since I've had a pet, and I have so much to do already and so many people to take care of that I just don't know if I want the added responsibility. And yes, I know that she you know, should have the responsibility and stuff. And that would be the ideal situation. But I don't know where she's going after school. And, you know, I mean, if it's a service animal, of course, there'd be no question about taking it with her. But um, I don't know. So we're just thinking about it. We're just, you know, mulling the ideas over right now. And then I got a Christmas paper pack. Those were um, two separate orders that I just I happened to place close enough together that Selena was able to ship them all together. This was something oh, the other thing that I want to tell you guys in case you don't know Selena, if I didn't say it already, is she'll do like daily deals where she'll put together special things and have it for a special price for a limited time and she'll uh, show it on her YouTube channel and then put it in her Etsy shop. I think this might have been one of those daily deals. Not sure. I can't remember. But as a thank you, you got a vintage Christmas postcard. This one is um, oh, I can't uh, read the year because it's on the embossed part of it. It was December 22nd, but I'm not sure what year. Anyway, it's just different um, styles and types. Like this is just the cover. 
um, I love that I got this. This is one of my favorite old movies. This White Christmas with um, Bing Crosby and Fred Astaire. I had to cheat and look down here at the label because I could. I knew it was Bing Crosby, but I couldn't think of the other one. But it's one of my favorites. And it's just got the part of the music to it. And then it's got just like the um, music, just the regular sheet music kind of stuff. So there's like a whole stack of that. And Christmas music is one of the things that I don't have a lot of. I have other kinds of music, but I wanted uh, specifically Christmas music, so I got a pack of that. And then, oh, I'll leave that there because of the glare. And then, um, talking about how, she, okay, sorry, I was about to stumble over my word there. Talking about how sweet Selena is. S's are hard for me. Um, the thank you gift that she sent with the linen packs was these trims. And look, or is it all one? Nope, it's two different kinds. Look at that. See that beautiful peacock on there? Isn't that gorgeous? Wouldn't that make a pretty pocket in a boho journal or a peacock journal? Oh, I love it. And look at this. It's got the little peacock. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Isn't that gorgeous? And then there's the little peacock feather on the netting part. And that she just sent as a thank you. So thank you so much, Selena. I really appreciate how sweet and thoughtful you are and the amazing deals that you put out there for us and all the hard work you do in looking for things. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. Just a little short video today. Hopefully I'll be back with the flip through of the first fall journal. I still got to get to making that uh, jewelry and sewing around these cards. So hopefully in the next couple days, um, I'll be able to get to that. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time and have yourself a fabulous day. God bless. Bye.